my dad just came out on the street where we're living on the road rider the public road less than two minutes away from where we live in he went to his sister's shop to grab something came out from his from his sister's shop into his car as soon as he was about to drive into our street these guys were there blocking the road with with a, with, with with um bicycles imagine they came out with hammer and wire as if they were going to beat and murder my father what did my father do to deserve that what did he do we need to let the law do its work we need to let the law get it right before we make accusations because you know what those accusations have consequences and that's what's playing out right now i i could lose my father today so i'm here urging every guineas to to let peace reign because you know what at the end of the day if we continue with this mentality we're gonna lose people that we love what happened to those two young men it's so unfortunate i cannot find the right words to describe how unfortunate it is it has touched the hearts of every Guyanese. It has brought gloom upon this nation. We have never been the same since those young men were killed. Regardless of color or creed, whether you're black, white, Indian, Amerindian, everyone was touched by the, 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 the heinous murder of those two young men. And we all want justice. Our heart cries out for justice. 